Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, hello, my name is Germana and today I have another Italian fluency video for you. Actually, it's quite a lot guys since I haven't posted a video on the topic, so here we are. Today I'm going to tell you nine easy and effective ways to express appreciation in Italian that do not include the very overused mi piace or mi piacciono. But before we continue with the video guys, if you want to see any other Italian fluency videos for me in the future, just make sure to subscribe down below and turn on the post notifications so you never miss another upload. Are you ready? Let's get started! In Italian there exist many many ways to express appreciation and today I have selected only nine alternative ways that I hope will help you enrich your vocabulary and fluency. Let's start with number one. Mi va or mi vanno, mi andrebbe or mi andrebbero. I feel like I or at fancy. This particular way to express appreciation in Italian is quite informal, so you want to use it for example in a conversation with your friend or in a situation where you really feel at ease and comfortable. It corresponds to the more polite version vorrei, which is the conditional form of the verb volere. If you want to know more about how and when to use the Italian conditional, I've recently uploaded a video on the topic that I'll link you up here. So an example of a situation where you would use mi va, mi andrebbe or mi vanno, mi andrebbero is this one. Paolo, ti va una birra? Or Paolo, ti andrebbe una birra? Paolo, would you fancy a beer? No, grazie. Però mi vanno le patatine. Or no, grazie. Però mi andrebbero le patatine. No, thank you. I'd rather fancy some chips. Look at the two sentences. In the first one, the object is just singular. Una birra. A beer. That's why we used ti va or ti andrebbe. Remember, they mean the same thing. On the other hand, in the second sentence, the object is plural. Le patatine. The chips. So the verb has changed according to that from the third person singular to the third person plural. Number two. Adoro. Or amo. I adore. Or I love. This is to express particular appreciation of something and you'll use it to mean that you're really fond of something. Let's see an example. I miei figli adorano dormire. My sons adore sleeping. Loredana ama la danza. Loredana loves dancing. As you've seen, these two verbs are very similar in the meaning, but I would say that amare is much stronger than adorare. Let's jump to number three. Sono un fan di or sono una fan di. I'm a fan of... In Italian, to mean supporter or enthusiast, we use the English word fan, which is actually the abbreviation of the word fanatic. Let's see an example. Sono un grande fan della Nutella. I'm a big fan of Nutella. If you do support Nutella, I'm a fan as well. Preferisco... I prefer... So imagine you are in a chocolate shop. Oh my gosh, the idea is wonderful. And you have to choose amongst different kind of chocolate. The moment you have to tell what you'd like to have, you'd say something like Preferisco la cioccolata al latte. I prefer the milk chocolate. I'd say that this is a nice way to express appreciation if you, for example, are asked to choose amongst different kind of options. This is perfect if you want to express what you like the most. Number five. Sono pazzo di or per, vado pazzo di, or per, I'm mad about, or I go crazy for, or I go nuts for. 
Is there anything else that makes you go crazy apart from chocolate? If yes, please let me know in the comment section down below. This expression, guys, is perfect if you want to mean exactly I go crazy for something that you really, really enjoy. An example, vado pazzo per le noccioline. I go nuts for peanuts. This is definitely a play on words. Interesting thing, guys, amongst sono pazzo di or per and vado pazzo di or per the first one is the one that refers mostly to people an example sono pazzo di Gaia I'm mad about Gaia it's very unlikely to use vado pazzo di or per if you want to refer to a person it's more likely that you use the second option to refer to for example food let's see another example vado pazzo per la pizza I go crazy for pizza. Number six, provare gusto a I enjoy or I have a taste for. An example, provo gusto ad aiutare le persone. I enjoy helping people. This is more a figurative expression, let's say. The noun gusto literally means taste. So it's like you have a specific taste for something. Number seven, mi garba or mi garbano I like wow this is very very a Tuscan thing guys indeed people from Tuscany are very used to say mi garba or mi garbano rather than mi piace or mi piacciono but they do mean the same thing they are for this reason synonyms to me this way to express appreciation sounds very elegant very posh but it depends on the perspective. I'm from Rome, people maybe from another city perceive it differently, but I really really like it. And remember guys, as they are synonyms with mi piace or mi piacciono, you want to use this way to express appreciation in the same way. That's to say, as the verb piacere is conjugated according to the gender and the number of the object rather than the subject, you use the same structure for the verb garbare. Let's see an example. Mi garba molto la tua cravatta. I really like your tie. Or mi garbano le buone maniere. I like good manners. You see, the subject is always io, but the object in the first sentence is la cravatta, the tie, which is a third person singular object. That's why the verb garbare followed its gender and number. Same story for the second sentence, in which the object is maniere, manners, third person plural. Number eight, trovo interessante. I find interesting. An example, trovo interessante questo articolo. I find interesting this article. You can find, for example, interesting a person, an object, an event, a situation. This is a very polite way to mean that someone or something intrigues you. And last one, guys. Non mi dispiace. I don't dislike. Sometimes to sound even more polite, you'll pass through double negation to express appreciation. As in math, two negatives make a positive. Let's see an example. Non mi dispiace il nuovo film di Paolo Genovese. I don't dislike the new film by Paolo Genovese. If you say this, you mean that you enjoy something or someone, but really, if you weren't asked, probably you would not choose it. It's not that you don't like it, but you neither enjoy that particularly. So good, that's all for today's lesson. I really hope that this video was helpful for you to learn some useful and easy ways to express appreciation in Italian. As usual, if you have any questions, please let me know in the comment section down below and also let me know what you really enjoy doing in your spare time. Plus, don't forget that I've been teaching online on italki. Italki is an online language learning platform where you can have one-on-one -on -one online lessons whenever and wherever you want and all you need is just a long and stable internet connection. In my opinion this is definitely the most efficient way to reach language fluency. So click on the link in the description box to earn 10 USD italki credits on a purchase of $20. Thank you guys for watching this video. If you want to connect with me you can find me on my Facebook Instagram and Twitter account. See you next time!
Ciao!